Hi, this video is for accounting practices in Australia. You may get something out of it if you're from another region, but it's actually just designed for accounting practices in Australia because the report codes are Australian. This video is going to show you why at entry counts, we do distributions in equity. Zero says you can do them in expense. We say equity is better and here is why. First thing, we'll just go to the report code screen. Just open up an expense account. Administration, expense. What I just want to show you here is that is the report code that Zero says you can use, which you can. So that's for distributions. Zero says you can use dividend paid expense for dividends as well. And the other one is also income tax expense for income tax. Now you can use these, they, they work, but we find that our way is much better because it removes a lot of risk for you and especially your clients. Okay, so let me go up here. I'll go to the balance sheet here and we can see if we look down the bottom here we have a loss from the previous year and then everything got cleaned up and distributed the current year. Okay so I'm going to show you the detail on that now. I'll click through to 26 and what we, you'll see here in 26 is the loss from 15 transferred over to 16 and 16's profit. So netting out at 200 and then what you'll notice here is all these are negatives. Okay, so they, if I just right click on that, then you can see the distribution journal of 10 beneficiaries all receiving $20,000 each. Now what I need to show you, see these distribution of profit accounts. If we go to the chart of accounts screen, you'll see that they're under the equity tab. Okay, they are not an expense, they're under equity. All right. Now if I go to the report code screen, what you'll notice here on the report code screen is that they're all mapped to user-defined equity number three. Now I'll just click on that. I'll show you that in Australia, this is why this video is for Australia, we have one, two, three, four user-defined equity report codes. Okay, so I've elected to use, I'm actually using number one for units in a unit trust. Um, and I'm, I've decided to use number three specifically for income distributions in trusts, unit trusts, and partnerships. Okay, because that's what user defined does. It allows someone like me, entry counts, to be able to define it for another purpose. Just, just back on the report here, as, as I said, you can see that we've got negatives, that's because they're debits. Okay, so they're, so they're debiting the earnings. The income that's available to the beneficiaries was a credit balance of 200, and now these are going debit, 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 debit. Now the other thing you need to remember about zero is that, is that it doesn't roll over at the end of the financial year. Zero is an open ledger, okay? So you need to remember that while you're doing this because what you have to do on the 1st of July is you need to reverse these debits to retained earnings. Otherwise they're going to roll forward and the reports won't work. Okay, so I'll just go to the journals. What you'll notice here is here's the, here's the debit distribution. But what you'll notice up here, on the 1st of July 16, if I click on that, is that you can see that they've all been credited and cleared to retained earnings. Okay, so now those balances won't roll forward. There's quite a number of benefits from using this method. The first one is if we run a profit and loss statement, or more importantly, if your client runs a profit and loss statement, then those expenses are not presenting here in the profit and loss statement. So those distribution accounts, they're not distorting this report. Why? Because we've used equity accounts. They are far, far away from this profit and loss statement, which means when your clients run it, or even when you run it, 
or when you integrate with another reporting solution, you don't have the problem of distribution, dividend or income tax accounts appearing in operating expenses. The other benefit is, if we were paying a dividend or income tax from retained earnings, then it's coming out of the balance sheet as opposed to the income statement. And you know what that can look like when you pay large dividend in a year of a loss. It, it just kind of looks really stupid. And also you'll notice in the trust income distribution report, which is basically the bottom of the notes, it's nice and clean as well. So in summary, we use equity for distributions, dividends, and income tax because we feel it's better for you and your clients. Thank you.